our right there.
Hello. Can you hear me? Ouch. Está bien, Nelson, no se preocupe. Terrible. Me duele. Me duele y, y no, no soporto mucho la, la luz. Ahí, Maye. So, no, don't worry, don't worry. No se preocupe. Okay. Si puede participar en el chat, hágalo. Pero no hay ningún problema. Ok. Vamos a Thank ver. You, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so let's see here the attendance, right, for right now. Ana Mercedes Amaya Corral? No. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez? Andrea Laureana? Carlos Mario Vendaño Peña? Carlos René Rivas? Carmen René? Oh, Carlos René, sí, okay. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Carmen René. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Delmi. Edward Gonzalo Chapón Alvarado. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Francisco Thank you. Francisco Nehemías Godínez Urquía. Present teacher. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Marlon Balmoris Dueña Rodríguez. Mauristela Orante Fernández. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Lara. Rubén de Jesús Campos, Susana Esmeralda Jiménez Osorio, Present. Mario Alexander Arteaga, Elena Carolina Guevara, Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ok. ¿Me hizo falta mencionar a alguien? Yo. Oscar Mauricio, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Oscar Mauricio Good evening. Montenegro. Good evening. Okay. What's your name? Ana Mercedes. Amalia Corado. ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Sí. Sí. Excelente. Es que otro grupo no me escuchaba. Fíjense. Pero creo que es el Zoom. So, let's start. Uy, qué poquitos estamos. Qué terrible. Vamos a comenzar. Yesterday we were working with should, right? We were giving recommendations. So, what do you remember about that? Um, Jose Daniel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What do you remember about recommendations, Mr. Meneses? José Daniel. Y este es Good evening. Dígame. What do you remember about should? Should. Uh, uh, example. Yes, that would be great. Uh, uh, recommendation. Uh, uh, you should uh, take uh, okay. 
abiertos y separados. Give me a moment. Eh, por favor, si no están participando, apaguen su micrófono. Ok. Continue. You should. A él, vea, que te está hablando. Eh... Solo está haciendo bulla. Ajá. Uh, you should, you should take, uh, excuse me, you should drink uh, uh, aspirina. Aspirin, okay. Aspirin, very good. Aspirin. You should drink, as, you should take an aspirin. Take. Cuando estamos, take. Si, cuando, hello, how are you? Cuando decimos, <laughs> when we say um, medicine, right, we use take, take a medicine, take a take. pill, take an aspirin, take okay. a ibuprofen, it. So we use take, take, take. Very good. Oscar Mauricio, give me an example using should. 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 Mm -hmm. Should. Okay. Uh, Era is have a text tomorrow. Y entonces, um, you, no, you should not drink alcohol. 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 Okay. Alcohol. Very good. You should not drink alcohol. Very well. Thank you so much. Now, do you have questions about the class that we had yesterday? Or should? Any questions? No? No. No, ok. Eh, hágame un favor antes que se me olvide. René Rivas, quítele la palabrita oyente a su, a su nombre, porque si no, van a decir que, que, que no está en la lista oficial. Quítemele ahí. Quítemele ahí. Solo la palabrita oyente. Ok. Now, we are going to continue right here. I'm going to show you the book, right? Because you already know how to use should and shouldn't, right? Should and shouldn't. Let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the book. We are on page 40. Go to page 40. 40. Miss Amaya, can you read, please, this this affirmative statement, the first one. Affirmative statements. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. Very good. Thank you. She... Mm -hmm. You should be on time every day. She should be on time every day. Very good. Now we go with the negative statements. First one here, please, Nehemiah. And second one, Elsa. Employees show smoke in the facility. Mm -hmm. We should not forget to wear the uniform. Okay, very good. Let's check some words, okay? Shouldn't. Repeat. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Very good. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. And Teacher, this, uh, what, what is facilities? The facilities, it's pretty much the building. The building. Everything that is there in your, in your building, those are the mm -hmm. facilities, right? The, the, of, the offices, the restrooms, the living room in the office, the okay. everything, the lobby, conference room, those are okay. the facilities. Good. Thank you. So we have shouldn't and then where. Repeat, where. Where. Where, very good. Oops, where I wear the uniform. Where, Elsa, where. Where. Well, exactly, just like that. Excellent. Now, with this in mind, right, you are going to write sentences about the policies in your workplace using the words in parentheses. Okay, we have these words right here. My schedule, my dress code. 
attend trainings, a sleeping work hours. Okay, those are four like policies that most of us have, or we have something related to that. So let's start working here, right? You're going to use should using this. For example, if I have here uh, the word, let's say I will have number five, right? On time, right? Then I'm gonna put here number five. You should be on time to work, right? Then I have my sentences using on time. So you're going to do the same with the other four. Is that clear? Do you understand the, 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 the activity? Hello? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mauricio. What about the others? Everything's clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's start. Let's do the exercise. This is so easy for you. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Do you understand the vocabulary? My schedule, my dress code, attend training, sleeping work hours. Do you understand that? What is what is the dress code, teacher? For example, the dress code is the uniform that sometimes we wear at work, right? Or sometimes, for example, teachers, uh, for example, at, at English Corporativo, we don't have a uniform, but we have to be formal. Sure. Right? So that is our dress code. If you work in a call center, the dress code is casual, right? So that will be the dress code. The way you wear your clothes. Did you finish? Good evening. Good evening, Carlos Mario. How are you? Fine. A little bit tired, but. You sound tired. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You sound uh, tired. Yes. Uh, but here we go. <laughs> here we go. Exactly. We're working in this exercise, making sentences using should, but trying to include this vocabulary, right? Okay, ahorita me pongo al tanto. Solo quiero abrir la computadora. Esta cosa bien lenta para abrir el WhatsApp ahí. <laughs> Don't worry, take your time. Okay. <laughs> You shouldn't eat at work. Very good, that's perfect, Mauricio, that's perfect. But use this four. Usa estas cuatro, mire. 
my schedule, my dress code, attend trainings, sleeping work hours. La suya está perfecta, de hecho. Gracias. Very good. Una extra que nos está dando aquí el señor Mauricio. Y ya la vamos a poner en el chat. No, no. We're gonna, we're gonna write them here. Okay, let's see here, Susana Esmeralda, what do you have for number one? Um, I think maybe I should to check my schedule. I should? Check, no sé si va tú o check, teacher. No, no va. ¿Recuerdas la no estructura que vimos ayer? Ok, solo check, entonces check. Uh -huh. My schedule. My schedule. Ok, I should check my schedule. Very good. Thank you so much. We have one example. Do you have another example for number one, Delmi? I should check my schedule. For do my activities in order. Okay, very good. I should I should use my schedule Especially. to do my activities in order. Okay. Very well. We have two excellent examples. Very good. Now Let's continue with number two. Elsa, what do you got? We should read the dress code. We should read. 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 Uh-huh. The dress the code. Dress code. Mm, but you don't read the dress code. Or what do you mean? El código de vestimenta. Okay, okay. Okay, okay very good. The dress code policy, right? Okay. The dress code policy. Okay. The dress code policy. Very good. Elsa, excellent work. Who has here another one for my dress code? Dress code. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my dress code should be more relaxed. My dress code should be more relaxed. Okay, perfect. More relaxed. Very good job. Right, so we have two examples right here. Let's go with number three attend trainings. Attend trainings. Give me your example for attend trainings, uh, Jose Daniel. Um, you sure? So let me say, you sure attend training? You should attend trainings, okay? You should attend training okay very good uh, mauricio can you read yours read the one you put in the chat i sure at, i, I should attend attend training tomorrow i should attend training tomorrow Así me digo yo y nunca voy, okay? I should attend training tomorrow. Perfect. Can you give me another example for that? For attend training? Mm -hmm. Amaya Mercedes? Yeah. Amaya Mercedes? Yeah. Okay. Yo había puesto... 
you should attend trainings. The same? Ah, no, 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 no. You should attend trainings. Trainings. Uh -huh. Trainings. Okay, okay. The same as, 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 as uh, here. Training or trainings. Does anybody have something different? Anyone with something different? Me teacher. Okay, what do you have? Uh, I should not wear look necklines out of respect for my dress. Ah, I have another teacher, perdón. My colleagues should attend training to have more knowledge. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Knowledge. Ah, knowledge. My colleagues should attend training to have more knowledge. To get, uh -huh, to get more knowledge. knowledge. I like that. Very good. Right. Excellent work. Right. Nehemiah, what do you got for number four? Thank you, Carmen. Um, I shall not sleep in work hours. <laughs> work hours. Okay. I should not sleep in work hours. Very good. That's perfect. Excellent work. Right. Who has another for sleeping work hours? Huh? Balmoris? Um, I think we can say uh, nobody should sleep in work hours. Nobody. Nobody should sleep in work in hours. Work hours. Eh, y podemos complementarlo como diciendo that's one policy of my job. That's that's one policy from eh, oh, my from job. my job. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And Carlos Mario, what do you got for this? Excellent, Balboris. Thank you. Nothing. Sorry. Uh, I should be on time for, for my English class. Okay. <laughs> I should be on time for my English class. Okay, very good. So we got there <laughs> our examples, right? With should. Anything, any other question that you may have about should? Any other questions? No? Okay. So if we don't have questions, this is our very good examples. Thank you so much, right, for the examples. We are going to continue working then, right, with other activity, right? Now, we are going to go ahead and work with unit number four, right? In unit number four, we still work, but I would like you to look at this very, very short conversation between Hank and Julie, okay? Today, please pay attention, right? And then we're gonna have a person to help me, okay? Two people. Please listen to me. Good morning, ladies. <coughs> How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. 
I'm okay. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong with Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Right? So let me put it here again. Right? We're going to listen to this again and just pay attention because this is this is Betty. Betty. Give me a moment. This is Betty, not Julie, okay? What is? Okay, we're gonna put it here. Okay, let's continue. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Now we're going to practice this conversation. I need one, right? I need three people. One, two, and three. Okay. Now let's see. Hank is going to be Balmoris. Julie is going to be a Miss Maya. And Betty is going to be Andrea. Let's start. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Ham. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. Julie. Sorry, teacher. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention? Oh. Could I, could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Very good. Thank you so much. So we got there. I remember this is Betty, right? This is Betty. Now let's thank you so much, guys. We're gonna check just some words that I believe are difficult. Okay, I believe are difficult. Oh my God, I hate this. I hate this. Okay, let's check some words that I consider difficult. Let's pay attention, right? We're gonna go with permission. Permission. Department. Request. Request. Okay, now. Absolutely. Okay. Also, we need to check intonation. With intonation, we go like, really? Really? It's a question, right? We're surprised. Like, ah, really? Right? You don't say, really? 
Cuando están sorprendiendo, dicen, de verdad. Right? De verdad, vos, ¿y qué pasó? ¿Qué te dijo? Right? So it's the same. Right? It's the same. Right? Then we go with, what's wrong, Betty? What's wrong, Betty? What's wrong, Betty? Right? And then pronunciation for this word. Could. Could. It's not could. No, could. Could. Como que la L ni existe. Está de adorno. Okay? La L está de adorno. So we're going to listen right now. Hank is going to be Carlos Mario. Right? Julie is going to be Carmen René. And Betty is going to be Miss Delmi Guadalupe. Let's listen to you. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay. But there is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, you could ask for permission. It's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I, could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Very well. Excellent job, right? Very good pronunciation to all of you. Now I need three volunteers. Me. Okay, Nehemias, you're gonna be Hank. Another person? Me, teacher. Okay, Elsa and Kevin. Okay, de hecho, okay. I'll see you. Okay, perfect. So, Hank is going to be Frank. Uh, Elsa, you're gonna be Julie. And Kevin, you're gonna be Betty, okay? <clears throat> okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You call us for permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. <coughs> Betty? Betty, could I mention? Betty. Teacher. Could I mention the reason? Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Yes. No, yeah, listo eso, teacher. Lo siento. Lo siento. Don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Right. So we have there, very good pronunciation, no mistakes. Very, very good, right? Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Elsa. Anybody else who wants to participate? Practice pronunciation? Uh-huh. No? <gasps> okay, right, well. Let's continue then. We have two questions here, right? Based on this conversation, right? We have here the conversation. We have two questions. What is the problem with Betty? What is the problem with Betty, Susana? Her mom is sick. Her mom is sick, okay? Very good, that's, that's the best, that's the biggest problem, right? Her mom is sick. What else, Ana Mercedes? Her mom is, is sick and? La hermana. The sister, uh-huh. Uh -huh. What happens with the sister? I'm sick. The sister is sick too? Hmm? Yes. Are you sure? Is the sister sick? Recuerdo que sí. 
Okay. What do you think, Carmen? Is that correct? Uh, I think yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. So the mother and the sister are sick. Okay. My mother is sick and my sister. Oh. Ah. And my sister can go see her tomorrow. Her sister is busy. <laughs> the sister is busy, right? So the, si the sister is not sick. Exactly. The sister cannot go see her. The only one that is sick is the mom, right? Right? Exactly, Nelson. No, she can't go, right? Very well, right? What about question number two? Do you know someone who had a similar situation in your workplace? Like they don't, they, they are sick maybe, but they don't know how to follow the process. Do you know anybody like that in your workplace? Have you ever helped a, a, a classmate, a, a workmate? No, you have never helped nobody? Yes. Yes? Who? Who have you helped? Yes. In my huh? work. Yes, Oscar? Who have yes, you helped? Uh, for example, um, for example, in my work, my good working, my, no. My cook working is father. Go be um taking the company for permission is COVID. Oh, for COVID. Very good. Thank you so much, Oscar. Write your answer in the chat. Okay. Very good. Very good. What about you? Uh, let's see, Roxana. Have you ever had that problem? Pensemos, vean, veamos, ¿ya han, ¿ya han tenido algún compañero o ustedes, no sé, que no han sabido? Usualmente nos trabaja cuando estamos en, en, en lugares nuevos, ¿verdad? Cuando entramos a un nuevo trabajo. So we don't know what to do. Right? ¿Ya les ha pasado eso? Que you don't know how to follow the process. No saben cómo utilizar el, 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 el proceso. No. A ver, pensemos en la respuesta. Pensemos y escribámosla. Okay. I know you can do it. Mm -hmm. Do you know someone who had a similar situation than Betty? Let's see the chat. When babysitter is sick and cares in house. Uh, what do you mean, uh, Nelson? Kill me. Who is sick? The baby sister? Yes. The uh, uh -huh. Baby sister sick. Um, nobody care. My son in house. Ah, okay, 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 okay. That's a similar situation. Very good. When the baby sitter is sick, nobody can take care of my son. Okay, very good. There you are. Excellent, Nelson. Thank you for trying. Babysitter. Babysitter. La baby sister es como, por ejemplo, mi hermana. 
que tiene, es más, es más joven que yo. Like you, ah, my baby sister. My baby sister. My baby sister. Porque es más joven que yo. Es mi hermanita, supuestamente. Ahí tiene 34 años. My baby sister. Pero si es la que cuida de sus hijos, okay, que es la niñera, vamos a decir baby sitter. Baby sitter. Once your mother, your mother was sick, was sick, okay, what happened? Oh, she, she was eh, accidente cerebrovascular, creo que era. Okay, she had an aneurysm. Aneurysm. Okay, and what did you do? Did you ask for permission to go see her? Okay. Yes. When I my asked. father, when my my partner's my partner's father die. Okay. Okay. Very good. When my partner's father die, what do you do? For example, look at here. Oscar said. For example, in my work, my coworker, right? His father got sick and asked the company for permission for COVID. Right. Good. Right. What about the others? Write your, write your answers. Todas creamos nuestras respuestas, ¿ok? Okay, let's see. In my work, many co-workers had to learn the process of homologation of disabilities due to COVID. Wow. Excellent example, Carmen. When my child is sick, he cannot attend school. Okay, and what do you do, Delmi? When, when your child is sick, you cannot attend school, and what do you do? Do you go to work or do you stay home? Um, I am work. You go to work? And what happens to your kid? Um, he's, no, he's with my father. Oh, he's, he stays with your father. Okay, he stays with your father. Very good. When my mother had an appointment with the doctor and she takes care of my daughter, okay. Once I was very sick, so I did not go to work and I didn't have time to ask for permission. I say bien, lady. I bien, casi. Okay. I don't usually do that, but once I did that, I requested for rodeo operations since November. And todavía está en la casa. Para vacaciones se fue quedarme. ¿Te creen ustedes? Ok, very good Oscar, very good Golbonis, very good everyone. We have good examples here for good, right? For this. Now, look at what we're going to do right now, right? Look what we're going to do right now. We're going to work in the next page on page 41, right? We have right now the use of another, another grammar point, which is could, right? I would like you to look at my computer, right? Could to express possibility. Y aquí está malo, miren, aquí todos vamos a borrar esto, pásenle un chelito ahí, un corrector, lo que tengan, 
marquen lo malo porque está malo y debe decir could, ok? Yo lo voy a marcar aquí para que ustedes puedan hacerlo como yo. Ok. This is incorrect. Right? It should say could. Could. So we have subject plus could plus verb plus complement. And we have this, this grammatical form is to express possibility, okay? That's the first thing that we need to think about. That we're gonna use uh, could to express possibility. But first of all, right? Vamos a explicar cómo se utiliza el could. Yo sé que ya lo han visto, pero me gustaría hacer un review rapidito. ¿Están listos? No tienen que tomar notas. Ahí pongan atención y vamos todo bien. Ok. Let me share my computer. Can you see the PowerPoint? Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, very good. So, usually when we use uh, could, right, we know that could comes from can. Right, it's like the past tense of can, right? But when we're using this, we need to make sure, right, that we are using, here right now we have it for ability. For example, I can speak English, right? I cannot drive a car, right? Estamos hablando de habilidades. Esto solo estoy mostrando para que veamos la diferencia en lo que vamos a hacer. Cuando estamos utilizando can or could, también nos puede servir porque estamos expresando habilidades. Ese es uno de los usos eh, que nosotros tenemos. ¿okay? Cuando decimos cosas que podemos hacer, eh, actividades, right? For example, I can say, I can, I can speak English. I can't speak French. Right? I I can't, um, I can walk for more than two hours, but I can't swim in a pool. If I go to a pool, I might die, right? So these are abilities. Estas son habilidades. Lo que vamos a ver hoy, right? If you pueden ver acá, what we're gonna do right now is to work with could, but could for possibilities right for possibilities but we don't usually use could only usualmente no utilizamos solamente could okay we can use also other other how can i say this uh other models right no solamente vamos a utilizar could sino que también podemos utilizar otros modales right for possibility. Now, in that case, when we use could, right? Vamos a utilizarlo ahorita con, con solamente could, pero también podríamos utilizar may or might. May or might, which are actually very useful to use, right? Now, let me go ahead and, and work right now. Right, with this possibilities. Give me a moment. Ya vimos que se utiliza para habilidades, ¿verdad? Could for possibility. And what is a possibility? Something that may happen or may not happen, right? Algo que puede pasar o que no puede pasar. Right? Eso es una posibilidad. Right, that's a possibility, right? Now, what is the structure? We have the structure first. La estructura antes, antes de que se nos olvide. We're going to have the subject. Vamos a tener el sujeto, right? Subject plus could plus the verb in base form. Entre could y el verbo no va nada más. Could y el verbo así como, como lo conocen. 
drink, smoke, write, read, listen, etc. Right? Plus complement. ¿Se entiende hasta aquí? ¿Sí? ¿Se entiende? ¿No se entiende hasta el momento? Yes, yes, ok. Yes, se entiende. Ok, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to write an example, right? For could, for possibilities. I could for possibilities. Let me put here the, the definition, right? And I would like you to please read it for me. Uh, Miss uh, Susana. Where, teacher? The definition here. Could. Okay. Could is a modal verb used to express possibility or past ability as well to make suggestion and request. Could is also commonly used in conditional sentences as the conditional for form of can. Examples, ex extreme break could cause the river to flow the city. Yes, city. Very good. Now, thank you so much, Susana. Right. With this example, that, with this definition that Susana just read here, we can notice three things. Right. Aquí tenemos todos los usos de could. Okay. What are the three uses of could? We're going to look at this. Please pay attention. Don't write anything. Use to express possibility. Que es lo que estamos haciendo hoy. Right. To express possibility or past ability. Hay una habilidad que teníamos y que posiblemente no la tenemos. As well as to make suggestions or requests. Hay. Miren cuántos usos tenemos de could. Okay. Siempre se sabe que could es como la forma pasada de can. Right? Eso también. Here we have an example of a possibility, extreme rain could cause the river to flood the city. Right? Eso es en San Salvador. Right? Si llueve demasiado, se puede inundar la ciudad. Right? Se puede inundar la ciudad. Do you understand right now the meaning of could? Is it clear? Hasta el momento. Teacher, sorry, I don't understand huh? the example. Okay. Imagine, imagine that it rains a lot, right? It rains a lot. And if you go to San Salvador, you say, oh, it's raining. So sometimes it could be flooded, right? But sometimes that may not happen. Que cuando llueve fuerte, ya se va a inundar. Pero a veces no se inunda, right? A veces no se inunda, a veces solamente queda así como que, ah, tal vez puede pasar. Entonces, okay. could lo vamos a utilizar para, para posibilidades, mm -hmm. cosas que pueden pasar o que no pueden pasar. Para, para las cosas que no pueden pasar, vamos a utilizar la forma negativa. ¿Ok? Entonces, en este caso estamos diciendo, ah, va a llover fuerte, entonces la ciudad se puede inundar. Se puede. Could right? Could cause the river to flood. Okay, se va a inundar, ¿por qué? Porque el río se va a desbordar, right? That's what we get. Creo que flood yo la confundía con sangre. ¿Con sangre? Ah, no, eso es blood. Mm. <laughs> Uy, no. <laughs> no, that's blood. Okay. Sure. ¿Sí? Uh, one example. You cannot drive all day. You cannot drive all day. Esa está perfecto, no. Nehemías. Pero esa es una habilidad, no es una posibilidad. Oh. Uh -huh. um, you could not drive all day. You could not drive all day. Aún así, esa es una... Esa es una posibilidad. 
Entendemos la diferencia entre posibilidad y habilidad. Ahí a lo mejor sería, you could have an accident. You could have an accident all day. all day. Very good. Escríbalo en el chat, por favor. Ok. Ok. Yes. It's correct. I could have a better job if I finish my college degree. That is totally right. Thank you so much. Very good. Very good. I could have a better job. Pero como estamos en El Salvador, no se sabe. Right? Puede, no puede. Tal vez pase, tal vez no pase. Very good. If you drive all day, you could have an accident. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay? Let me put some two more examples here, right? Following the structure, right? Following the structure, right? Look at the examples. We have example one and example two. Example one, can you please read example one? Uh, Roxana? Uh -huh, sí, uh, Nelson? No, mi, mi ejemplo, o sea, I could win. The, the lottery. I could win the lottery. Exactly. Esa es una posibilidad. And maybe you will win or maybe you will not. Exacto. I could win the lottery if I bought a lot of pieces of lottery. Right? But let's see. Let's take a look at the examples. Uh, number one, Carlos Mario. And number two, please, uh, Reina Margarita. The examples. Teacher. Okay, uh, leam, leamos y luego preguntamos, por favor. Ajá. Okay. Carlos Mar. They could come my, by car. Maybe they will come by car. Okay, maybe. We don't know. Maybe they go there by Uber or by a Jeep or by a motorcycle. We don't know. We are not sure. Continue, Reina. They could be a, a home. At home, uh -huh. At home. My, my be they are at home. Okay. Maybe they are at home. They could be at home. Maybe they are not there. Maybe they are uh, in the office or they are in the school. We don't know, right? Ven ahí como es una posibilidad. Right? Una posibilidad. Veamos la pregunta de Susana. ¿Cuál es su pregunta? No, teacher. It's, it's, it's a example. example. The weather change could sit at you. The weather change could? Change could sit at you. Could sit at you. What do you mean? Escríbame en el, el chat. Uh -huh. Okay. Veamos aquí. Tenemos otros dos ejemplos. This winter, the river could get in again, okay? Could flood again. Could flood again. He could get a job in the workplace. Is a possibility, exactly. I could make pudding and tortilla, okay? Pero en ese caso, usted está diciendo que es una posibilidad o una habilidad que usted tiene, Oscar Mauricio? Habilidad. Entonces, ajá. Es una, una habilidad que usted tenía en el pasado. I could make pudding and tortilla. But now I can make arepas, pudding, tortillas, mm -hmm. baleadas, and everything else. Lo suyo es habilidad. Ahorita estamos en, enfocándonos más que todo en posibilidad. Posibilidad. Oh, okay. uh -huh. The weather change could, ah, okay. Could make you sick. Could make you sick. Could make you sick. They could be at the game at the game. Como en este caso, Carmen René, estamos diciendo un juego específico. Right? Ay, se fueron a ver el partido. They could be at the game. Pero ya sabemos a cuál, entonces utilizamos the game para ser más específicos. ¿Ok? Very good. ¿Entendemos estos ejemplos hasta el momento? Okay. Teacher, yes. Uh, I, uh -huh. 
I could I could sleep sleep uh, right now, but if I have a uh, English class. Okay, I could sleep right now, but I have English class. Okay. <laughs> That's a possibility. That's true. Okay. Very well. Let's see another one here. The list. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's let me save this information. Vamos a guardar acá. Y vamos a pasar la asistencia. Vamos. Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. Present. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez. Present. Carlos Mario Vendaño Peña. Present. Carlos René Rivas López. Present, teacher. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Present, teacher. Telmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Present. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present teacher. Francisco Nehemías Godínez Urquía. Present. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. Present. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Present teacher. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Present teacher. Marlon Balmoris Dueñas Rodríguez. Present. Maure Estela Orantes Fernández. Maura Estela. Present. Present. Ok. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Present teacher. Reina Margarita Present Martínez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Present. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez Osorio. Present. Mario Alexander Arteaga Campos. Mario. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Okay. So we got there our examples, right? Right now with this. Now. Any questions right now for could? Alguna pregunta? Anyone. Okay. Anything, okay. We don't have questions. Okay, like I said, you can use also might and could for possibilities in the in the past right or for possibilities right uh, but in this case we are going to pay attention right to could only right let me ask you some questions right right now i'm going to put some questions here that i would like you to answer and we're gonna answer them in group, okay? Using could, okay? Using could. Remember, we are working with possibilities. I'm gonna put there five questions that you are going to answer. <clears throat> Can you see the whiteboard again? Pueden ver la pantalla blanca de nuevo? No, teacher. Okay. Veamos. Yo creo que sí. Hoy sí. 
No, teach. No. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Ok. No, hoy no, no hay nada. Of any way, any way possibilities, teacher. Ah. Uh, any way possibility. Yes, we're going to talk about possibilities right now. And could is only, we're going to use it right now for possibilities. Okay, todas las preguntas que le voy, que le voy a escribir acá son para posibilidades. Okay, possibilities. And todas vamos a utilizar could to answer them, right? So we have question number one. Vamos a leerlas ahorita para ver si las entendemos. Edgar, can you please read question number one? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, what what are some things uh, you could buy if you had more money? Okay, what are some things you could buy if you had more money? Okay, Kevin Gutierrez, can you please read number two? Okay. You think you could be CEO of a large company? You think you could be the CEO? The CEO is the, the, the big boss, right? The most important boss of the companies. For example, I have a supervisor, right? His name is Jimmy. Like, yeah, he's the supervisor. But I, there is a CEO that will be Mr. Science, right? So I would say, oh, that's the CEO. Usually is the owner. Nelson, can you read number three? Could China could China become the dominant superpower in the world? Okay, okay, interesting question. Number four, eh, Laureana. What are what are some things that could improve your life? Very good. And number five, Elsa. What what are some things you could do this weekend? This weekend. Thank you so much. Puede ser una pregunta que no tiene que ver con nada con la clase. Ustedes ven las letras como raritas, con co varios colores. Sí, vea. Yes. Bien, bien feo yes. se ve eso. Eh. No sé por qué aquí me da así. We're going to change that, ¿ok? We're going to change it. Ahora se ven solo negras, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, very well. Thank you. Now, these are your questions. You are going to discuss the questions with your classmates and write the answers, okay? Using could, very simple as that, right? Think about possible answers. You are going to work in pairs. Van a trabajar en pareja y llega un consolidado de respuestas, okay? ¿Se entiende lo que van a hacer? Traten de tener lo mismo para no equivocarse. Ahora, les voy a compartir, ¿ya copiaron las, las preguntas? Si no, la voy a pegar aquí en el chat rapidito. Ahí, no, ya las pegaron. Ya no lo voy a hacer. Ok. Now, we're going to work in pairs. You're going to discuss, but you are going to also write the answers. Van a discutir, pero también van a escribir las respuestas de cada una de esas preguntas. Ok. Luego las vamos a discutir en grupos. Eh, van a poder compartir la pantalla si quieren compartirla les recomiendo que compartan la pantalla para que no estén perdidos a veces uno está en la pregunta 1 y el otro está en la 3 y están respondiendo cosas distintas también pueden utilizar el chat dentro de su grupo si está solamente Carmen y Elsa solo ellas dos pueden ver el chat los demás no ven nada de lo que ustedes están escribiendo solo lo veo yo cuando yo entro a, a, a su grupo de lo contrario no veo nada ok se lo pueden ocupar como cuaderno también para ir escribiendo los ejemplos y que alguien los tenga ahí. Okay. Now, let's start working right now. Vamos a trabajar. Estamos 20. Vamos a ir en equipos de dos. Vamos a, a trabajar en parejas. Let's go. Vamos, vamos, vamos. ¿Cuántos ejemplos desea, Ticho? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuántos cuánto ejemplos le damos? Y Silvia. Usted va a responder ahí como usted pueda. Usted es libre de dar todos los ejemplos que quiera. Dígame, Mario. No me ponga el grupo, porfa, porque pienso que voy manejando todavía. 
Vale, lo voy a o poner sea, en grupo para que esté de oyente. ¿Ok? Ah, vale. Yo creo que para no que se sienta mal la, mi compañero con que me toque y no le ayude. No, ahí está ese de oyente. Acepte y después ese de oyente, ¿ok? Ah, ok. No se preocupe. Gracias a, mí. Gracias a usted. Bueno. Démosle chicos, vámonos, vámonos, vámonos a los grupos. ¿Quién se me fue? Carlos, Marlon, Nelson, Oscar, Francis, Roxana, Estela. Roxana, por favor, vayas a su grupo. Roxana. Estado. Estela va a estar de oyente. Yo sí, te no, porque estoy para... trabajando, fíjense. Vaya, entonces lo voy a cambiar. Voy a poner a Estela en otro grupo y a usted también para que estén de oyentes, ¿ok? Gracias, okay. Y vamos a ver, Roxana. Ahí me queda aquí. Ok. Helen y Laureana. Hello, eh, teacher. Hello, hi. Eh, Miss Estela is going to be listening only, ok? Ok. Ok, okay. see you in a moment. <coughs> Le ponemos otra respuesta. Ahí vea. Eh, ¿Qué más podemos comprar? Ah, hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Yo soy de eso. No sé qué más. <ríe> Ropa, zapatos. Cabal. Ay, pongámosle eso, ropa. Wow. Ay, cool. Ay, cool. Podríamos comprar. Yo ¿Podríamos? puedo comprar. Eh. Podríamos comprar. Mm, I, I could buy many. I could buy. Ajá. Mm, I could buy many clothes no. and shoes. And shoes. I call many by I call many como era I call many by Uh -huh. No, no, I could buy many clothes and ah. shoes, pero no sé si es many. Es mucho, mucha. Y si Ajá. Quiero ver. Así lo dejamos. Sí, así dejémoslo. Vale. No se nos Va el número dos. Quería. Ay, pero Many clothes ever. Sí. Clothes and shoes. Uh -huh. <coughs> ya. Yeah. 
El número 2. Do you think you... Es como una... ¿A qué se refiere? No me acuerdo de eso. Sí. Es como una... ¿Cómo le explico? Dice, ¿crees que podría ser director ejecutivo de una gran empresa? Ah, director ejecutivo de una empresa. Eh, yes, pongamos en yes. Ay, cool. <ríe> Sin experiencia, pero puedo. No. <ríe> yes, I could. Pongámosle, yes, I could create a, a new company. Sí, yo podría crear una nueva compañía. Sí, va. O no. Pero. No sé. Sí, porque como yo la voy a crear, yo puedo ser el director. <risa> Vaya. <risa> yes, I could. Create. I could create. 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 Uh -huh. create. A new company. A new company. Eh, le vamos a poner otra respuesta. Es que ese es bien, bien, bien complicado, es algo. <risa> Vaya, vámonos a la número tres. Ah. Sí. Siempre. <risa> <risa> Ah, pero dice que... To travel to work. Okay. Hi, Nemias. Do you finish? Hi, teacher. Eh, no, teacher. Eh, la, la, la pregunta que, que yo tengo pa, está la que, manda, la que mandaron al grupo. What are some things you call by if you have more money? Uh -huh. Si yo tuviera más dinero. Eh, digamos... Respondiéndole en español, eh, y si yo, yo digo, yo podría comprar un boleto para viajar por el mundo, ¿eso sería una buena sí. respuesta? Sí. Sí, ok. Yeah. Sí, ese, 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 esa era la, la, la que necesitaba para responder las demás. Ok, perfect, perfect. Glad to Thank hear you. that. <laughs> Thank you. Entonces sí está buena esa, Margarita. Ok. ¿Ya la anotó usted? Ahorita la voy a anotar. Ah, ok. Bravo. Ya es tú. Va, esta tenemos una. La otra es. No. 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 Es el. el... Es así, ah, tal cual se escribe, que... tal cual lo conocemos, así, tal cual. Sin agregarle nada más. Hay tú. I could work. Solo así tendría que decir. Sí, I could work oh, all weekend. Pero Mario dijo al principio, I could sleep all day. Es cierto. Dijo compañera. 
I could sleep all day. Uh, sí, todavía voy a dormir. <laughs> <laughs> no, no sé. Ay, vean, si quieren, háganme esa. Ok, <laughs> number five. <laughs> Nos falta Mario. Entonces ahí pongamos entonces Mario, Mario cool. Mario cool sleep all day. Yes. <laughs> all weekend, porque está preguntando del weekend. Ah, uh, all weekend. weekend. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería? Perdón. Mario cool sleep all weekend. Ah, ok. ¿Estás no, satisfecho? Pues... <laughs> yeah, awesome, yeah, <laughs> My uh, number four, what are some things that could improve your life? Uh, I could be more patient, paciente. Ser más paciente. Sí, definitivamente. <laughs> oh. This meeting is being recorded. Mejorar. ¿Perdón? Mejorar. Mejorar para tu vida. Uh -huh. Híjole, ¿por dónde empezamos? <ríe> A ver. Uy, oui, ¿verdad? O I. I call. <ríe> Change the work. ¿Qué sería? Sería... Ah. Sería, I call, <laughs> I call, <laughs> no más no le quiero. Your English. <laughs> Ay, Dios. Quiero ver. Uh, Podría. Education. <laughs> Mandando cosas. Sí, pero. Become. Podría China convertirse a convertirse, convertirse en la superpotencia, digamos, do, para dominar el mundo. En el mundo. Uh -huh. That's what it means. Yes, podría poner yes. China Cole. Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, bye. La cuatro. Dice. Espérame, que yo no la había copiado, la estaba no sabía. Bueno, por aquí la tengo. Did you finish? No. No. No? Okay. What are some things that could improve your life? Okay. I see the quarter. The quarter college. Ya casi, ya poquito falta, unos pocos días. Uh, ¿Any questions? Ready, teacher. You finish? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What do you answer in number one? Number one, mm -hmm. I could buy a new cell phone. Okay, very good. I could buy a new cell phone, only that? Yes, only. Only. In, in two, in two, mm -hmm. in, in two question, in, uh, no, in two question, only, only that, in three, only that, in four, yes, o sea, two, two that, in five, three that. No entiendo la respuesta, la número dos, ¿cuál sería esa respuesta? Uh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I could think. Be 
CEO of a large company. Yes, uh -huh. yes, I could be. I could, I be. could be CEO uh, of a large company. Yes, I could be CEO of a large company. Le pusimos de más. Te le pusieron el think de más. Uh, okay. El think no, no lo lleva. Uh -huh. Number three. Yo o el compañero. Con el, cualquiera de los dos, no importa. Eh, Pero le pusimos yes, China cool, B con, no, B con the dominant in the world. The dominant superpower. Superpower. Superpower in the world. Okay. Very good. Y la siguiente. Okay. Yes, I could. I need other work. Or oh, yes, I could. I win a lottery. En la número cuatro. Sí. Okay. Pero en la número cuatro no es yes. Porque es una pregunta, una information question. Las preguntas que empiezan con what, ah, where, es why. Cierto, es cierto. No se empiezan con sí o no, sino que se explica. Sí, es uh -huh. cierto. So, what are some things that could improve your life? ¿Qué cosas mejorarían sus vidas? Uh -huh. I could win a lottery. Win the lottery, okay. Very good, that's one. I so could what? I could need other, other work. I could? Need other work. Mm, Necesito I otro could. trabajo. Eso no está diciendo necesito, porque necesito es I need. Y could ah, significa sí, sí, sí. posibilidad. Y ya le modifica el significado del verbo. Entonces, ¿cómo lo diría ahí? I could, I could other work. I could have. I could. Siempre va con verbo. Could más el verbo. Could más un verbo. Could más un verbo. I, I could have a better work a, or a better job. Okay. Podría tener un trabajo mejor. Muy bien. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más, Mauricio? Y en la 5 pusimos I could visit the family. No, oh, estamos en la 4, no se me salte. Estamos en la 4. Ah, no, solo uno habíamos puesto. No, pero ahorita ya el señor aquí ya lo está arreglando, el señor eh, Nelson. Nelson, ya dio otra respuesta más. I could win a lottery. Ah, o está el otro. I could have other work. O si otro trabajo. I could have another job, sí. Y eso fue lo que dijo Nelson. Ahora, ¿qué me dice usted? No, la otra era. I could, I could win lottery. A lottery. ¿Las cosas le mejorarían la vida? Sí. Ok. Para okay. todas las deudas, ¿sí? Ok, bueno, nos vamos entonces para la sala principal. Let's okay. go. Vámonos ya. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, how was the activity? Was it difficult? ¿Cómo estuvo la actividad? Cuéntenme. Easy, teacher. Easy peasy, okay. Easy peasy. No hay ninguna pregunta, nada de la, de la actividad. No? Shall we start? Comencemos pues. Comencemos. Let's just start here. Give me a moment. 
Let me share the computer and we are going to listen to some of you, right? Vamos a escuchar algunos de ustedes compartir sus preguntas, right? Sus respuestas. But I will choose who's going to speak. Let's start with number one. Marlon, can you please answer number one? Of course, teacher. Um, what are some things you could buy if you had more money? Uh, first, first of all, uh, I could buy a car. I could buy a car, okay. I could buy a house, a, 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 a bigger house. Okay. And, and I, I could buy a new, new furniture, teacher. Nuevo mueble. A new furniture, yes. New furniture. Okay. Um, um, I think uh, I could buy uh, a lot of things. A lot of things. Okay, perfect, uh -huh. Valmoris. Thank you very much. Your answer was perfect. Thank you. Would you choose you. another person for question number one? Uh, um, déjeme ver. Lo dejo ver. ¿Qué, qué tal, Mr. Oscar? Oscar, question number Tenemos one. Tenemos un Oscar. Ok, ¿cuál, cuál? Number one. A la primera. A la primera. Dice la respuesta. Yes. Yes, ok. Entonces sería, hay Che y Chang. No. Hay Chang is the cell phone. Okay, utilice la fórmula que hemos practicado con Kurt, por favor. I could, I could change, change the cell phone. I could change my cell phone. Repeat. I could change my cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell, cell phone. Okay. My cell phone. No lo escucho también. Usted, usted, yo casi no lo escucho. Ya me estoy quedando I sorda de este volado. Uh -huh. I could change my cell phone. I could change my cell phone. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you so much. Choose another person. Escoja alguien más. Choose another person. Question okay. number one. Uh, Mr. Nelson. Nelson, y si Nelson estaba con usted, tiene la misma respuesta. <risa> Qué locura ah, pues, es eso. Uh -huh. uh, 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 Frank, Mr. Frank. Frank, ok, thank you. Come on, Nemias. Ok, I, I call buy a ticket to travel the world. Very good. I could buy a ticket to travel the world. I could. I think I could do the same. <laughs> very good, <laughs> Nemias. So let's go with question number two. Question number two is very easy. So tell me a name, Francisco. Question number mm. two. Um, Andrea. Andrea Laureana. Okay. Yes, yes I could create a new company. And yes. I... Uh -huh. And I could be CEO. Okay, very good. Yes. Listen to her answer. Yes, I could create a company and be the CEO. Perfect, Laureana. Excellent work. Does somebody have something different? I think the answer is very just no, right? Esa pregunta de si no, lo deja bien corto con la explicación. Let's continue with number three. Number three, Elsa. Three. Um, 
Yes. Yes. Call China. Ok, pero no me diga call China. Dígamelo en oración. No como pregunta. Yes. Ajá. China call. Determinate. Ajá. Determinate because have a lot of technology. Ok, very good. Yes. China, China could be the dominant superpower because, okay, because they have a lot of technology. Very good, very good. Does anybody have another answer? ¿Alguien tiene alguna otra respuesta parecida? ¿O que me diga no? ¿Y por qué? ¿Todos tienen lo mismo? Sí, chef. Eh, yes, yo no sé si está bien la mía, pero eh, is house the second most activity world economy in the last five years. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Margarita. Excellent. Ponga Elsa y Margarita la respuesta. Todos los que han participado pongan sus respuestas en el chat. Ok, vamos poniendo las respuestas en el chat. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Now let's go with number four. René Rivas. What are some things that could improve your life? Number four. Mm -hmm. I could improve in the studies. Ok. I could improve in my studies. Ok, very good. Only one? Yes, only one. Solo una cosa mejoraría su vida. No me arrepiento de lo demás, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see, Carlos Mario, what do you got? Mario, Carlos Mario. Ahorita voy, perdón, es que no podía conectar el micrófono. Eh, a better salary could improve my life. Ok, a better salary could improve my life. My life too, by the way. <laughs> ok, very good, Carlos Mario. Tell me, what do you have? Same question. I could be winning the lottery and having a, an accessible uh, schedule. No me acuerdo cómo dijo que se pronunciaba. Schedule. Schedule and having a business. And have a business. Okay. Very good. So let's see here. Right. Repita en la primera parte de mí. I could. Win the lottery, you said, right? Having an accessible. I could, I could have a flexible. Okay. Flexible schedule. And I could have a business. Is that what you said? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It has the second, yes, because it has the second, veamos que puse aquí. Most active work economy the last year. Excellent, Margarita. Very good, very good. Now let's go with number four, Susana. What are some things you could do this weekend? Uh, number I four. Could sleep. Number four. Number four. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, what are some things that could improve your life? I could be more patient. More patient. Patient. Tengo un call center. La carne tida. Okay. I could be, sea teacher también, la carne tida. Okay. I could be more patient. That would improve my life. Very good. Excellent. René, what about number five? Thank you, Susana. Hey teacher, what are some things you could do this weekend? Eh, te hicimos la pregunta a Mario. Mario could sleep all weekend. 
all weekend. Come on, Mari. Yeah, I could do that, but on Sunday. Probably Sunday. <laughs> okay, perfect, Carmen. Very good. And you, uh, let's see, Kevin, number five. Okay, what are some things you could do this weekend? I could go to my grandmother's house. I could go to my grandmother's house. Okay, very well. I could go to my grandmother's house. Perfect. And Meneses. No se me vaya, ¿dónde está? Eh... I could, I could uh, go to the beach with my family. I could go to the beach with my family. Oof, that would be great. Okay, perfect. So we have answered this. Oh, Miss Amaya Corado, what about your answer? Bien calladita. Okay. De la número cinco, ¿verdad? Yes. I could go room to a study. Room or running, teacher? Run. I room. could go to run room. in the study. Yes, run, run in the study. And Dominguez, can you answer number four? Because your answers were really good. So, las que, respuestas que me dio en el grupo. Yo creo que él está hablando, pero el micrófono no le sirve. Fíjense. Number four. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Listen to me. Yes. No, number four, I could have a better job. Okay, I could have a better job. Um, uh, I could win a, a lottery. I could win the lottery. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Nelson and everyone. Now, hay preguntas de cómo utilizar could, pero para posibilidad. ¿Hay alguna pregunta? ¿No? Ya sabemos que se puede utilizar para otras cosas, ¿verdad? Tenemos otras opciones también, pero este día lo hemos practicado como posibilidad, right? So, let's go. Teacher. Yes. Y si yo le quiero decir, digamos, a alguien, eh, podrías, digamos que, could you give me a... a Algo, no sé. Uh, yes. O oh, could you. Entonces, could ya, you close ya, the door. The, uh -huh. ese, están bien escritas las preguntas, pero ya no es una posibilidad. En ese caso, estamos haciendo un request. Estamos pidiendo algo. Un request. Estamos solicitando algo. Entonces, ya ese es otro uso. Uh -huh. Could you give me money? Could you help me with the homework? Could you go and see my grandmother because I can't? Right. Those are requests. Esas son solicitudes, preguntas que les están haciendo. No, no preguntas, obvio, son preguntas. Son como, les están diciendo, mira, me puedes ayudar con esto. Right? Podrías hacer eso por mí. Entonces, ese ya se va para requests. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank Gracias. you for your question. Thank you, Laura. Ya ven una palabrita, el desorden que hace, ¿verdad? Okay, perfect, perfect. So let's go here. Veamos acá en equipos. ¿Pueden ver su libro? ¿Sí? Siempre estamos aquí con could, ¿ok? Tenemos five situations. Well, we have four, but you are going to invent number five. Ustedes van a inventar la número cinco y van a escribir acá. So if I tell you, Susana... If I tell you, you don't have a car, right? ¿Qué me podría usted decir con could? Susana, you don't have a car. Um, you could, you could buy. Yes, I could. I could buy a car, but you don't have a car. Okay. Uh -huh. Usted no tiene carro. You don't have a car. I could buy a car. I could buy a car. Okay, very good. Ahora demos un poquito más de información. I could buy a car. Mm, 
when I when I have a money. When I have more money, okay. Very good. When I have more money, I could buy a car when I have more money. Perfect. Y así vamos a ir completando estas cinco. Someone of your family is sick. Todas las situaciones son distintas. Right? Right? Estas situaciones, les da, alguien les está diciendo esto a ustedes. Okay? Alguien dice, Carmen, someone of your family is sick. Y debería decir, someone in your family. Aquí está off, quítenselo, por favor. Someone in your family is sick. Okay. What could be something that you can tell me? Carmen René. Okay, teacher. I could uh, take them to the doctor. I could take them to the doctor. Very well. You see? Right, I could take them to the doctor. Obviamente todos vamos a tener respuestas distintas, right? I could take them to the doctor. Okay. Nelson, someone in your family is sick. Yes. Mm -hmm. I could in family my sister sick. Okay, very or good. Kobe. Okay, y qué dice usted? Dime una 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 oración así como hizo Carmen. Yo le dije Carmen, someone in your family is sick. No es una pregunta, es un, una oración que yo le estoy diciendo. Someone in your family is sick. Y me, oh, I could take them to the doctor. Someone in your family has COVID. Nelson, what do you do? Tell me possibilities. Um, I could. I, I could visit the doctor. Okay, I could visit the doctor. Okay. Doctor. I could call three to one. ¿Cuál es el número? Uno, tres, dos, one, could, two, three. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, one. Okay. No, no, no. Oh. No. Imagíneme da, imagíneme da COVID y ya me va a mandar one two three usted. One three two. One three two. I could call one three two, right? Someone gets COVID, I could call one three two, so they can send me the package. Supuestamente que envíen, ¿verdad? Estamos completando las demás, ¿sí? Ya terminamos de la una a las cinco. Las cinco invéntensela. Happy pack. El happy pack. I'm gonna put here, yo le voy a poner el número 5. El sueño de todo latinoamericano debería ser este. Ok. That's number five, guys. You get a job offer in Canada. Yes, my dream. Allá nos vemos. Mm -hmm. So what could you do? You get a you get a job offer in Canada. Oof. I could start preparing all my paperwork. Right? Hasta el chiquidú y de hace como 20 años. Ok. No se me duele. Vamos a ver. Uh, why Canada? Uf, because it's safer. It has a lot of education and I like to study a lot. I always like to be in programs. So that's why. It's safer for kids. Right? I could apply to the programs that Canada offers. I see, I have a lot of lists. Why can't I say why Canada? <laughs> why Canada? But you can change it. People want to go to the US, but the US is very dangerous. It's very dangerous. A lot of racism. Uh, que me oiga la embajada, pero es cierto. 
muy violentas, racistas. La mayoría de americanos son racistas también. Y es más fácil que le den la vista para Canadá que para Estados Unidos. Ay, imagínate, ya me da más ánimo. Ahorita voy a empezar los papeles. <laughs> no, this is my dream. It's not your dream. No. Where would you like to go? Where could you go if you get an offer? Um, Suecia. Finlandia. Oh, Switzerland, Finland. Oh, nice. The happiest countries in the world. You could ask for asylum. Good, Carmen Rene. Ay, pero tengo que ir a la policía, me tengo que me están extorsionando y después, sí, había. Ah, eso me lo creen, vea. La verdad que me lo creen. Una, una, la familia de una compañerita de mi hijo hace dos años se fueron a Estados Unidos y de ahí pasaron a Canadá y pidieron asilo de un solo. Papá, mamá y la niña. Y ahí so cool. ya está, mi bebé. Desde allá le voy a dar clase. Hay un programa ahorita que usted se va a Costa Rica y en Costa Rica pide asilo y de ahí le envían a, a Pero Canadá. Costa Rica es carísimo, niño. Too expensive. Un plato de frijoles me lo acuerdo como a cinco dólares. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Uh -huh. Okay, so what do you have? You need to request a legal document. Uh, Elsa. Veamos. Miren, Oscar, está escribiendo un montón de ejemplos, ve. Ajá. ¿Cuál, perdón? Number three. You need Number to request three. a legal document. Es que Oscar ya se emocionó con lo de Canadá. Sí. <risa> I, call, I call, call a lawyer. I could call a lawyer. Very good. I could call up a lawyer. Ah, miren, Fraser, call up a lawyer. Right. Muy bien, Elsa. What would you do in number three, Valmoris? Um, sería... Oh, yeah, es, que, es que el que dijo Elsa era exacto. I, I could call a lawyer. Or I... ¿Cómo sería? No los ha hecho. Usted puede estar chateando con alguien más, no los ha hecho. ¿Usted cree no, que no, no, no me fijo? Yo creo que pueden jugar trabajo. en la comp, güey, Fortnite. No, no, no. No. <ríe> eh, pero bueno, podría ser. Eh, I, could, I could go to the institution to, para solicitarlo, to request. To, to request. request it. To request them. Uh -huh. Como son to documents, request to request them. Muy bien. Ah, okay. Del me, del me. Yo me fijo en todo lo que están haciendo. I del me. You feel tired. I, I could go to sleep. Uh, no. uh -huh. I could take medication and relax. Eh, okay, very good. You could drink a tea. Un tecito de canela. And settle down. And settle down, yes. Very good. Amaya, you feel tired and sick. Kind of true, right? I could, I could take a vacation. Uf, miren, ve que galambe. ¿Cómo tienen días <laughs> acumulados? And you, Maria Vendaña? It's number four. Uh huh. Yeah. You feel tired. Uh, uh, I feel tired or sick. Mm -hmm. uh, I could feel better tomorrow. Better tomorrow. Very good. I could feel better tomorrow. My Alexander, you feel tired or you feel sick? I think Mario is still driving. Okay. I'm going to put Laureana, number five. You get a job offer in Canada. I could accept. I could accept it or I couldn't, all right? Hey, Nehemias, do you get a job offer in Canada? Is 
a le pica, ¿verdad? Ese es el micrófono. Um, I could go to the embajada. Okay, I could go to the embassy. 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 E M B. No lo veo escribiendo. E M B A S S Y. Embassy. Yes. Okay, very good. So we have Thank the you. answers there. Thank you. Right, we have the answers there for this exercise. We will continue working tomorrow with with unit four, which is very, very easy. It has processes. You could eat a sneaker. <laughs> is it commercial? You could eat a sneaker, right? Now, it's <laughs> Let me go ahead and call the attendance. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. Present. Andrea Laureana Vázquez. Present. Carlos Mario. Carlos René. Present. Carmen René. Present. Delmi Present. Guadalupe. Present. Edgar Gonzalo. Present. Elsa Merino. Present. Teacher. Francisco Nemias. Present. Helen Dionelli. Present. José Daniel. Present. Kevin Vladimir. Present. Marlon Balmoris. Present. Mauri Estela. Present. Nelson Domínguez. Present. Oscar Mauricio. Present. Reina Margarita. Present. Rosana Present. Elizabeth. Present. Rubén de Jesús. Susana Esmeralda. Present. Mario Alexander. Diana Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Okay, so we are going to continue here. Eh, hoy le corresponde eh, quedarse a Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Nos avisa si se va a poder quedar los próximos 10 minutos si no le puede ceder el espacio a alguien más. Ahora, veamos, tenemos dos minutos para ver cómo vamos en la, eh, en la plataforma. Hoy es el día 17. Uf, ya casi terminamos. Dios mío. Veamos acá. Todos a este día, todos debieron haber terminado ya la unidad 3. ¿Ok? La unidad 3 y si es posible los primeros ejercicios de la unidad 4 porque eran con shoot y shoot ya lo habíamos visto. ¿Ya? Veamos. Unidad 3. Personas que ya terminaron Unidad 3 y unidad 4, Ana Mercedes, Andrea Laureana, 3 y 4, Carlos Mario Avendaño, unidad 3 completa, Carlos René, no tiene nada en la unidad 3, Carlos René, Carmen Calderón, unidad 3, unidad 4, muy bien, eh, Delmi Guadalupe, unidad 3, unidad 4, Diana, unidad 3, le falta la 4, pero estamos bien, Edgar Gonzalo, eh, Edgar Gonzalo, tiene que revisar la unidad 3, por favor, porque no llega al puntaje todavía. El Samerino ya terminó el día 3 y la 4 ya la pasó, aunque no está terminada. Francisco Nehemías igual. Eh, unidad 3 completa, la unidad 4 va empezando. Helio Dionel ya completó la unidad 3. José Daniel la 3 y ya vamos muy bien en la 4. Mario Alexander ya completó la unidad 3 y ya va empezando la 4. Marlon Balmoris ya completó la unidad 3, muy bien. Mauro Estela, me falta la 2, la 3 y comenzar la 4. Nelson, muy bien con la unidad 3. Eh, Oscar Montenegro, unidad 3 completísima. Y vamos empezando con la 4. Eh, Margarita también, Roxana y Rubén de Jesús, que ya terminó la 3 y la 4. Silvia Maricela no ha hecho nada. Susana Esmeralda, muy bien. Tres y cuatro completas. Recuérdense que esta semana, el sábado, el sábado, debemos completar ya el examen final. El examen final es prácticamente, eh, viene de los temas gramaticales y del vocabulario que hemos visto. Idioms and phrasal verbs. ¿okay? Este examen final no se puede postergar después del, del día lunes. El día lunes es el último día. Mi recomendación es que lo hagan, por favor, el, el sábado para que ya el lunes no tengan que andar corriendo. Recuérdense, el lunes es un día pesado para todos los que trabajamos 
durante el día. Y es mentira que lo van a hacer después de clase porque tiene cuatro partes. ¿Ok? Así que realícenlo antes, por favor. Hay como tres personitas que ya lo hicieron. Miren, vean, ya salieron de eso. Right? So, please guys, complete okay. that. Sí, dígame. Este, y, y le dijeron algo de la tarea 14. Del error que, que teníamos. Que, fíjese que no, ya me acordó. No, no me han dicho nada. Ya lo voy a, ya le voy a recordar ahorita a esa señorita. Y yo le, yo le digo mañana por el WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ok. Sí, porque no me han dicho nada, mire, desde el sábado. Ok, perfect. Ok, guys, see you. Me quedo con Reina Margarita. ¿Se va a quedar Reina? Reina, sí, es Reina Margarita. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. Happy night, Oscar. Bye, Mario. Bye, René. Bye, Oscar. Okay, Reina, how are you? Bye, Mario. Bye, René. ¿Qué tal, Margarita? Cuénteme. Eh, teacher, fíjese que a mí siempre lo que me ha costado es la pronunciación. Entonces, no sé si puedo leer eh, la conversación que está en el libro, en la página 41. Y sí, claro. Claro. Y yo le voy a dar eh, tips, ¿ok? Antes, sí. Después de que leamos la conversación, yo le puedo dar tips para que usted vaya mejorando poco a poco. Porque la pronunciación sí cuesta, pero si yo pudo, usted también puede. ¿Ok? Ok. No se preocupe, que yo aprendí inglés ya adulta. Página, me dijo, 40 41. 41, la de Betty y Hank. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, eh, la voy a compartir acá para que las dos la veamos. Ok. ¿La mira ahí? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, Margarita. Yo soy Hank y usted es Julie. Julie okay. y Betty, ok. Ok. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. Um, I am up, but, but Betty is not. Mm -hmm. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is, is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is here. You call good to HR, no sé cómo pronuncia. Okay. Don't worry, continue. Department sigue? Department and this Reckes and four. Uh, could I imagine the reaction for the person? Permissions. Okay. For, very good. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Very good, Margarita. Now, we're going to check this no, words, no, no, no. okay? Estas palabritas. Repetimos acá, ok. 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 Ah, ok. Right. I am ok. Right. I am but. Okay. But. But. Siempre, esta espero. But. But. Uh -huh. but, but. Aquí es, esta, digamos, esta es right. 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 Uh -huh. right. right. Así. Right. Right. Esta otra se pronuncia could. 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 De, quítale la L y termine con D. Le vamos a quitar la O y la L. Could. Could. Exacto. Estas dos, estas dos letras, HR, significan human resources, o sea, recursos humanos. HR. Human. 
HR. 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 Si usted le dice, I want to go to HR. Quiero ir a recursos humanos. I want to go to HR. Y solo pronuncia las dos letras, le van a entender qué es. Okay. okay. Ahora vamos con department. Department. Huh? Request. Request. Reason. Reason. Permission. Permission. Very good. Thank you so much, Margarita. Uh, ahora, con esta, con, ¿qué es lo que podemos hacer para mejorar con, eh, pronunciación? Porque no creo que solo a usted le cuesta, ¿ok? Nos cuesta a todos, que ¿okay? en general. Lo que vamos a hacer, cuando estamos, primera cosa, como somos principiantes, ¿verdad? Lo primero que hacemos es que tratamos de buscar conversaciones que son fáciles para nosotros, ¿verdad? Como esta, pero lastimosamente so, esas conversaciones no traen audio, pero el libro sí trae links aquí, ya viste los links que tiene. Escucha Ajá. los links. Los que están en el último. En el último, son links, uh -huh. correcto. Ok. Ok, o podemos hacer algo distinto. Eh, independientemente del tipo de música que a usted le guste. Si usted puede, busque canciones en inglés que sean fáciles. Ok. Porque okay. no vamos a ir a buscar un rap, un hip hop, no, nada de eso, ¿verdad? Vamos a buscar uh -huh. algo que vaya lento para nosotros y que vaya tranquilo. Siempre cuando somos principiantes todo, creemos que todos hablan rápido, ¿okay? pero en realidad no, ellos hablan normal. Entonces, uh -huh. así como cuando los gringos aprenden español, piensan que nosotros hablamos súper rápido, pero en realidad no, hablamos normal, ¿verdad? como hablamos todos los días. Lo mismo les pasa a ellos, lo mismo nos pasa a nosotros. ¿Qué va a hacer usted? Va a ir a, a, a YouTube, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Va a poner, eh, por ejemplo, digamos, aquí está una canción que es súper fácil, mire, ve, le voy a poner aquí. Así se escribe la canción. You are beautiful. ¿Ok? Y le va a poner a la par el nombre del artista, que es Jason Mraz. ¿Ok? ¿Okay? Pone el nombre de la canción y le va a poner la palabra que diga lyrics en YouTube. ¿Por qué le va a poner eso? Porque cuando usted se vaya a YouTube y eh, eh, ponga eso y le da enter, le va a aparecer el primer video. Y hay uno que tiene hasta como la traducción, ¿verdad? pero eso no nos importa. Lo que nos importa es la pronunciación. Usted va a leer la lírica que aparece en el video. ¿Ok? Va a leer la lírica y va a escuchar. Solo escucha y lea. ¿Ok? Escucha y lea. La segunda o tercera vez, escuche y trate de repetir lo que va diciendo. ¿Ok? Okay. Trate, porque no, no somos cantantes y a veces nos cuesta bastante ir repitiendo. Y okay, como estamos practicando, trate de repetir. Luego trate de cantarlo, así como usted puede. ¿Por qué? Porque su mente va a ir asociando los sonidos que usted escucha. A veces el problema que tenemos es que queremos pronunciar al mismo tiempo que las demás personas. Usted escucha y luego pronuncia. Escucha y pronuncia. ¿Okay? También okay. Le, va a ser, le va a servir que usted se grabe. ¿verdad? Cuando usted escuche sus conversaciones, grábese para que después oiga cómo usted se escucha. Entonces va a decir, ah, no sé si no dijo ella que se dice esta palabra, se dice de otra manera. Porque a veces nosotros pensamos que la estamos pronunciando bien, pero ya cuando nos escuchamos ya decimos, ah, no, sí me equivoqué. ¿Okay? Okay. También trabalenguas, ¿ya he trabajado con trabalenguas en inglés? No. No. Vale, no. entonces voy a enviar yo al chat. Oh, creo que envíe un, un, un video de trabalenguas al chat. Está en el chat de WhatsApp. Ah, sí. Ah, pues, ahí está un video de, 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 de trabalenguas. Practica los trabalenguas. Ah, pues lo voy a buscar. Uh -huh. Ahí está el, el link y voy a mandar eh, links de canciones al chat de WhatsApp para que las vaya eh, eh, descargando usted. Ok, solo le da okay. clic al link y ahí va a entrar a, la, a las canciones. Ok, eso okay, podemos hacer para comenzar. Vaya, muchas gracias, teacher. Gracias a usted, Margarita. Pase linda noche hoy. Gracias igual, teacher. Ok, bye, bye.